Wisconsin is a leading manufacturing state, uh, in fact on a pro capita basis, uh, the leading manufacturing state in the nation. Uh, and so when the state agencies determined that they wanted to become the leader in sustainability practices, they uh, initiated the Profitable Sustainability uh, Initiative, PSI. In looking for a leading agency, they came up with the Wisconsin Manufacturing Extension Partnership. And then they've teamed with partners, including SESBT Squared, to provide various components of that. Uh, so we're an energy and environmental engineering firm, and so we covered the areas of energy management and then environmental areas, whether they're waste areas, water, uh, air emissions, hazardous waste, permitting. But one of the key elements that we developed was the diagnostic tool. And uh, the wonderful thing about uh, the sustainability diagnostic program is that uh, you can take a company that's really at the starting line and introduce them to the sustainability universe of options for them, where you're really looking at potentially hundreds of individual projects that they could take on, and then helping them to winnow down and prioritize what one, two, three, four projects they want to start with. So, for instance, we'll come into a company with a compressed air system, and a lot of companies, a lot of manufacturers do use them, and we'll do a, a leak survey. We'll often find a hundred leaks in that system. There was a manufacturer who was in up, upstate um, Wisconsin, and they had dabbled in and had looked at their energy profile and, and what they were doing with energy engineering side of things. And I'm just thinking of this energy engineer at the facility. I mean, he was the lead engineer. Once he found out about the different aspects of where his energy was going to, the magnitude of energy that was going to the different processes that he had, he lit up like a Christmas tree. And he was looking around, as he walked around his facility, he was saying, wow, I, I really get this. I really see dollars are being used here, dollars are being wasted there, you know, up that stack. There's dollars being you know, sent to the atmosphere on a cold winter's day. There's heat that's leaving. There's this motor that's inefficient. There's this oven that is not operating efficiently. It really was an exciting moment to, to see that. I mean, he was very engaged and excited about this program, and about what he had learned, and what he was going to be able to take to his other facilities. There are opportunities uh, galore and uh, uh, we're really at the, the initial stages in many respects. So whether it is saving energy, which also is reducing carbon emissions and saving money, everyone knows what their energy bills are, or saving materials or, or reducing emissions or improving other aspects of their processes and driving out waste, um, uh, manufacturing has, has multiple opportunities uh, for improvement with sustainability. Uh, we are an accounting, tax, and consulting firm. Our job, or our role in the PSI program was to assist in gathering the financial information related to the projects that were identified. We put together a return on investment template, which the project managers and um, other partners used when they identified projects during the assessment phase of the program. So each company had its own template, and it documented uh, the descriptions of the projects, the costs and benefits from a dollar perspective, and then also environmental or social benefits with the projects. Um, it calculated a return on investment and then also a payback period. In this template was a also a one-page summary of the projects that the participating company could use to rank the projects and determine which ones they wanted to do first, were there some they were going to do with PSI dollars or maybe some that they would do on their own after the program. Um, and then using those ROI templates, we rolled up all of the financial and environmental information, uh, summarized that into different categories, and then that went into the report that WMP has put together. Um, companies had come up with a sustainable new product that needed some uh, fi outside financing in order to get that to market. So we assisted in um, assist them in putting together a five-year forecast compilation and WMAP also helped out in uh, putting together a sales and marketing plan for the company. So they had basically a five-year business plan they could take to their current lender to get some additional funds or maybe another outside party um, in order to get that product to market. And I thought that was interesting in that I wouldn't have normally linked new product development with sustainability programs. So, And I don't know if other people would make that um, you know, make that conclusion either. So I thought that was an, an interesting part of the program. 
Focus on Energy is Wisconsin's statewide energy efficiency and renewable energy program and our real focus or goal is to work with eligible uh, residents and businesses to um, provide financial assistance as well as technical assistance to install energy efficiency projects that otherwise would not happen. We're brought in along on the diagnostic phase to assist during the diagnostic and really focus in on the energy efficiency portion and really zero in on that to look for opportunities for the manufacturers to lower their energy consumption. So the diagnostic is kind of that initial phase right after the company is accepted into the PSI program and the diagnostic is really just that high level overview of the facility looking at ways for improvement and the outcome of that diagnostic is going to be a list of five measures or five you know, key items that can really enhance the sustainability of that company. And when energy measures are identified on there, whether it's replacing the compressed air system, replacing the lighting, or doing a more complex controls addition to whatever process they may have, we can look at those specific energy items and work through the PSI program with those customers to walk the manufacturer through the process to leverage those incentives by quantifying those projects, determining, you know, determining how much energy they're going to save, what the payback is so that they can make an informed decision, and then if they're eligible for incentives, that's going to help buy down the cost of that project and make it more um, financially feasible for them in some cases. We have a, a large offering of incentives. We have prescriptive incentives as well as custom incentives. And if the technology or project qualifies for an incentive, they can receive up to 30% of the project cost through incentives. Uh, we are a third party logistics provider uh, headquartered in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We brought in the logistics expertise and primarily probably 80% of that was involved in the transportation end of things. Um, we participated in all the diagnostics. Um, when the assessments were assigned a transportation priority, we did that, and of course implementations if they proceeded. All of that involved um, identification, analysis, um, administration for logistics improvements. Primarily what we looked at was how many carriers are you using, are you using carriers that are involved with the EPA Smartway program, um, what could we do to change modes, go from a more expensive one to a less expensive one, um, and how does that impact the environment. We have, uh, as a result of it, developed our eco-transportation program, which basically says not only can we reduce transportation costs, improve services, we can do it in a manner that has a positive impact on the environment. Uh, the best example I can give um, is the impact, environmental impact statement that we add to our eco-transportation program. At the end of each month, we give a report that you ship this, you save this, um, and your service was. We now bolt onto that and say, here's how many, here's the pounds of CO2 that you reduced, here's the pounds of oxides of nitrogen, and particulate matter, and kind of go into it a little deeper. I mean, the first thing uh, uh, that comes out of PSI is profitable. So we did focus on making sure that we identified opportunities that they could find payback and ROI and sufficient reason to do it. Some of it required some funding to get started. But overall, it seemed to me that the opportunities to improve their sustainability, their cost, add labor capacity, and, the, and, and just pure, pure improvement in the sustainability was evident throughout the, uh, the whole process. I can't say it for everybody, but I was impressed with, with the results. We work with the uh, Wisconsin Sustainable Business Council and their Green Masters program. Uh, through the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, we offer the Green Tier program, which really is for that next wave of graduates coming out of the Profitable Sustainability Initiative that are interested in building long-term value in pursuit of sustainable practices within their businesses. At one point or another, a light's gonna go on or there's gonna be an aha moment that there's, there is a real opportunity here for profitability and increases in markets. We've also had manufacturers tell us that their current pursuit of sustainable practices is so that they don't have to go through the pain that they experienced during the recession. 
if you talk to manufacturers who are actively engaged in sustainability, they know that that lens provides them a way to look at how to improve their profits in ways that they had not looked at them previously. And several will also say that just looking at profits leaves you in the position of stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. Because when you look through the sustainability lens, you see where there are much greater opportunities than just shaving um, small percentages or bits of processes off in order to accomplish marginal improvements in profitability. Our mission is to make the Wisconsin manufacturing environment the best in the world. And the PSI is one of the key tools that we're using to get results for Wisconsin manufacturers. Mm -hmm.